With auto contouring and Contour Protege AI, people tend to naturally gravitate towards it being all about efficiency gains. And that's certainly very exciting. But these things can also help you with the quality and consistency of your contouring as well. We at MIM, we actually help facilitate multiple contouring workshops every year with professional organizations such as Acro and also with some of our larger cancer center network type of customers to really help with contouring. And let me pull up a case from one of these contouring workshops. So we'll zoom in here just a little bit. So I'll go down to the brachial plexus and you can see here the shaded contour is the expert contour from this workshop and then you can see all the individual contours that were drawn in this particular workshop there was 29 experienced dosimetrists that took place in this class and you can see just the huge amount of variability um, on this structure um, kind of across the board on, on really every single slice and you know this is very common we see this in most clinics with Contour Protege AI, you can really start to reduce this by having everyone starting from a you know, much more consistent contour that is very close to your guidelines. And the result of that is gonna be you know, much greater standardization across your contouring process. If we scroll up a little bit here, you know, we'll see this from some of the other um, structures as well. Um, you know, some of the constrictors and the submandibular glands as well you know, you're seeing that huge amount of variability. So these structures are fairly difficult. Let's take a look at a different case. Um, we'll actually look at the larynx. With some of these more difficult structures, you might expect there to be a high level of variability. Let's take a look at the larynx contour here. And, you know, again, you can kind of see the shaded contour is the expert contour from this workshop and then you can see all the individual contours. Still quite a bit of variability, even on a, you know, maybe a little bit easier structure. So I think it just kind of shows that across the board, you know, starting from a more consistent initial result that matches your guidelines can have an impact not only on, you know, very difficult structures such as the brachial plexus, but also on, you know, more routine structures such as the larynx as well.